Hi guys, Matt Collins here from Beausoleil. Welcome to Matt Unplugged. I'm here in session and this time I'm going to be trying a few new tricks. I'm going to be trying out some old school rigs and some barbless hooks and I've also got a new trick lead system. There's also plenty of fishing action coming up. So I started off this session just as I as I always do here, just little PVA traps. Trap in the right place is all you need to catch a fish. Just got to get the timing right. I knew where they were. I knew that they'd been starting to move up and down the, um, the far bank uh, margin. We call it snake bank because that's where the uh, snakes live. I knew I, I needed to be close to there. In previous years I'd use my bait boat but I didn't bother to bring it this year. So easy to row them out, get them absolutely on the money, take the prodding stick, have a little prod around, get that rig absolutely spot on. There's loads of little holes in this, this lake, you see. Rocks, holes, dimples, plateaus, slopes. With a rowing boat and the prodding stick, bit of effort you can get them absolutely spot on yeah if i want to fish in a in a in a hole you know size of a dessert plate let alone a dinner plate then uh, then then i can no problem at all and that's where the bites are coming from and they excavate these holes so wherever you're fishing a water i'd always be looking for the polished spot the fish create the environment they're they're, they're JCBs with fins. They're just digging around, occasionally getting it wrong, of course, and having their photo taken. Oh, hello. We have got an inquiry on the right hand rod. Good old tip knock there. Bobbin lifted tentatively. Now I'm very careful when I set the bobbins, always set the bobbins so that the body of the bobbin lies, uh, lies flat. That way I can, I can tell some of the movements here are so, so subtle. I had a bite the other day whereby the, uh, the bobbin, bobbin didn't move, Delkin didn't beep even. I could just see the tip just nod almost like I was river fishing. I was getting massive liners on the other two as well. I struck and missed a couple of times. You know, it was coming on breakfast time, so I was starting to get a bit, uh, bit nibbly, you know, and got the ump with it. Thought, right, I'm gonna wind him in, see what's occurring. Wound down, struck, nothing. Pumped and wound, pumped and wound. And then about halfway across, the rod just ooped over. Fish must have made it 20 metres. But uh, yeah, dink at 38.4. You're looking well, mine. That's what makes it proper exciting. I've been fishing this place for nine years and uh, still love it. Still gives me that buzz. Yeah, you know, I really look forward to. Uh, uh, winter sessions and uh, got a rare opportunity to do a bit of uh, spring uh, spring fishing it. Got some old school rigs on at the moment. The old Mono D. Met a guy called uh, Lenny Hedges quite a few years ago now, and he's a very very good angler. Came with his uh, came with his family probably about six years ago now. Came, with, came here with his lad and his lad was only uh, 10 at the time and uh, they, uh, they were fishing this little uh, little mono D rig. I think two days in they'd had, uh, they'd had about 8 to 38 pound between them so uh, only fishing day sessions. I'm, I'm always fascinated to see how people are going about their craft you know always learning trying to get those little edges and uh, it was a wonderfully simple rig that they were fishing with and uh, just not one that one that passed me by basically. I think the Mono D is just a 
It's a classic example of a of a simple rig that's easy to tie. If a rig's not easy to tie, it's hard work to fish with. You want to be able to knock up a new rig in in a minute, two minutes. Now it's also a great example of why you don't need to uh, spend money on um, fancy uh, fancy combination uh, material hook length. So 20 20 pound hook length. That's what I've been using for the uh, for the mono D. If you're fishing a water with 15 pound main line, I just use 15 pound hook length. Just use the same stuff. The thing is, if they do take any damage, yeah, the the. I had a very big cat last night, and um, uh, but it'll, it'll take it'll take an absolute caning this material, but uh, you wouldn't want to reuse it. Uh, the most um, most important thing, of course, is that uh, is is that hook. You know, start the session, go through the packet. Proper jeweler's loop. Best money you'll ever spend on fishing. Made a massive difference to my angling over the years. I'm trying something new this trip. Barbless hooks. I uh, I found these um, these gardener um, gardener dark um, shod hooks, size four, out turned eye. Just what I wanted to do, um, go with the mono, you know. I was I'd run out of out turned eye hooks, micro barbs. So uh, I thought, well, let's give them, um, let's give these barbless fellas a go, and um, bloody brilliant actually. Yeah. So easy to unhook, clean in, clean out. And they stay on as well. They they do take, uh, you know, they don't they don't they don't fall out. They are proper nail when they're on. Yeah, so it's something I should be uh, doing uh, doing more of, and uh, it's also enabled me to try something else as well. That's uh, normally we got um, uh, all all leaders are banned here. Um, and uh, yeah, you got to fish uh, one one meter of tubing, and uh, so I thought, well, yeah, we've got these barbless hooks, and um, I use uh, uh, a leadless leader material, um, Duracord 65 pound. I use that for my river carping look. So I, I was wouldn't I wouldn't ever use. Um, I know you can, of course, but you know, I wouldn't ever use a a, a leadless leader with. Um, with it with a barbed hook you know it's just uh i'd, I'd like to think that uh, it, if in case of uh, of a mainline failure that the fish could uh, you know rid itself easily of the uh, of the rig you know you wouldn't want them towing a bit of leader um so uh so yeah using barbless using um uh leadless uh, leadless leader meter of that i've got this uh you know trick in line lead system that i've been using for years and years so the great thing about the uh, my trick inline system is it, it tells you when you've been done. So I wanted to create the same sort of um, uh, trick, um, but with uh, with swivel leads. Yeah, it uses these uh, Enterprise uh, snag um, snag lead safety clips. Yeah, in order to give an indication system, I uh, had another route through my box and I found some um, Fox um, beads, um, some six mil ones, very very soft put them over the leader and where you splice the leader you get a, 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 a difference in thickness and I just found that uh, with the 65 pound Dura cord and these uh, uh, these six mil beads you just get a lovely little transitional fit. The first problem I have with this um, telltale bead system is that um, I'm fishing back leads. As soon as I wind in that back lead's going to come down. It pushes the bead back towards the uh, the leads. It basically took away any indication that uh, anything had happened. Then I thought, well, I'll just uh, I'll just add another bead. So I threaded a bead on the main line before making the connection knot to the top of the leader. And that that bead just sits above the knot uh, and. Uh, the back lead slides slides down. He stops there. It stops the back lead interfering with the uh, with the telltale bead, basically. So after I got that first bite, I just uh, just dotted some baits, probably 20, 30 baits over uh, 
over each rig. Yeah, 10 meters one way, 10 meters the other. Really, really effective way of targeting um, targeting the margins on uh, on any water. And uh, yeah, so that's that's got my me my uh, second uh, second bite fish called uh, two tone. Bit of a rare one this one. He's only come out uh, eleven times over over nine years. That's what makes this place so fascinating. Still, still surprises, still tests me year in, year out. What was interesting is that uh, it didn't take me long to get the bite as well, you know. Uh, I didn't fish the night for, for Dink or, or for Two Tone. I slept out here like a good view, you know, see what's going on. And uh, didn't even have the rods in the water, but they were all ready to rock. And Dawn came up, rode them out. Dropped them on the money. Yeah, hour and a half later, both days. 9.15, you could set your watch by them. 9.15, both takes, dink and two-tone. We're off, we're in. Bloody lovely. With those two under my belt, I uh, got a bit uh, got a bit more confident with the um, with the bait. They started to show a bit more. Took a, took a kilo of bait, about 200 baits. Spread that around the around the margins I'm targeting, and it was catfish time. I guesstimated this one about ninety pound. Well, yeah, you know, still an amazing experience. The the power is just off the off the scale. Yeah, you know, people talk about you know hard fighting carp. You never experienced anything like the power of these cats. And that. That's a big cat, that. Well, a very big cat, that. Uh, just no point in hauling them out of the water. I'm fishing solo. Uh, I guesstimate 90 pound easy. Probably about uh, a good 35 minutes to get him in, something like that. Just taking on that simple uh, uh, single 20 mm uh, uh, mono, uh, mono D rig that uh, held up just fine. So there we go, big cat in the net. Uh, not not a not, not a massive one. Um, probably uh, probably 70 pounds, something like that. So uh, literally going to um, uh, just flip the hook out with the uh, with the forceps and uh, and let him go. There we go. Back to the deep. Morning guys, very early in the morning, 10 to 4, and uh, just had fish number 2, so uh, busy night, let's get them out and have a look.
Come on, Pepsi. Well, what an absolute peach. It's a 40. I'm not even sure which one it is yet. <laughs> Unbelievable. What a night. Sometimes it just goes like that. Bloody brilliant. Different spot, same tactics. Single bait. Load of particle. I shoveled it in yesterday. He loves it. Bloody brilliant. <laughs> well, I'm really happy with what I've tried this session. I hope it's given you a few ideas that you can incorporate into your fishing. All the best. Until next time.